and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone, this is Anna Grace Taylor with your weekly angel reading for October 23rd through to the 29th. I'm back after a couple of weeks without doing any videos. I was traveling uh, first Monday, I was really busy in Austin, and then on last Monday, I was traveling back home. So I haven't had a chance to connect with you this way for a while. I'm really excited to see what the angels and beautiful beings have to say for us this week. I'm going to be using Kyle Gray and Lily Moses, Keepers of the Light cards. So let's see what they have to say for us. First of all, for Monday and Tuesday, I do have a cold, so you'll have to bear with my voice, but hopefully you can hear the messages perfectly fine. All right, so here is the card for Monday and Tuesday. Absolutely love Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin is a beautiful being who I often think of as the Eastern Mother Mary because she's so compassionate and kind. And this is exactly what this card says, care and compassion, choose to be love do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. So it's really asking yourself in the next couple of days, what would love do? What can I do to be more kind to myself and to others? Usually remembering that we are often far kinder to other people than we are ourselves. So if you're finding that you're being harsh or judgmental to yourself, really pay attention to how you want to feel. If it doesn't feel good, the chances are you're not being very kind to yourself. So refocus your energy, be compassionate, be kind. If this does involve other people, if you suddenly think of another person when I'm talking about this, notice in the ways which you can be supportive. Sometimes that does mean, you know, having your boundaries and knowing that you can't save the world, of course. But also there's people closer to home. It could be your own family, your own friends that are just in need of a loving ear or somebody to say, I'm here for you, I'm supportive of you. And that can really lift everyone's energy because we feel like we're being of service and they feel supported. So if someone comes to mind when I'm talking about care and compassion or if you're feeling like you're just thinking about someone who could do with a nice boost or a hug, please go and get in touch with them because it's beautiful and everyone gets to give and receive in that way. Kuan Yin is a beautiful uh, being to call upon if you would like to feel more compassionate to yourself or others. She actually said, as the story goes, that, um, that she would not ascend until every human being had peace or was at peace. So it's a pretty big job, but it shows you that she is a huge beautiful, loving being that you can call on regardless of whether you um, have ever followed Eastern religion at all. She is just there for everyone. She's so unconditionally loving. So there you go. That's for Monday and Tuesday. All right. And this card for the middle of the week is Melchizedek, which he is a beautiful, wise being, very wise. You can see from his face, it's like this big wizard energy. And it says, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further, further your progress. And the title is Higher Learning. So this says two things to me. It could be that you actually have more study to do, that you have this set of skills, that you've been feeling called to expand your uh, knowledge and your wisdom in that way. It could be that you want to go back to school. It could be that you want to further your skills in some kind of way but it can also mean within as well I think sometimes it can be so easy to go like oh I'm constantly learning I thought I got that I thought I healed that I thought I knew that but there's always a deeper place to go there's always um, a place where we can be more in touch with our truth it could even be our own sense of spirituality our own beliefs about things sometimes I think even the good things and the things that are really positive in our lives sometimes need a, a sense of you know review or um, opening up more because we're not the same person as we were even a moment ago or last week so it's really important to constantly feel like you're just keeping yourself open to learning and growing and experiencing new things because it's all about experiencing life this could also mean that you know meditation being still really being aware of your intuition and what you're receiving through uh, your divine guidance, your wisdom, 
is really going to be of particular importance in the middle of the week. So you want to pay attention to that. You want to perhaps keep a journal beside you, really notice what kind of epiphanies or awarenesses you're having um, because he will definitely help you with that. So either way, there's going to be a time of expansion in the middle of the week. If you are wanting to expand your skills or you've been thinking about it, then this is definitely confirmation for you as a student or just as a student of life, okay? All right, now this is really interesting because the, the card for the weekend is Gaia, Earth Connection. So where we've been talking about kind of being up here and being really connected to our, our learning and our spiritual learning, this is also talking about our connection with Earth. And you've heard me say many, many times, if I wasn't grounded and really present, I could also not really have the conversations and the focus and the, you know, the work that I do, because it's one thing being um, open as a channel and being able to, to feel and experience the, the realms of the divine and God and the angels, but in order for us to really um, embrace that, to really feel that, to really bring that through, we have to also be grounded as well, so please don't confuse the two, you can absolutely be up here if you want to be, but you also can be really connected to the earth. And so that this card is really reminding us that at the weekend we may want to really, rather than be in our heads, we really want to, might get outside, get into nature, really stay grounded and present. It says, be mindful of the planet, come back to earth, stay grounded. So if you're feeling a bit unfocused, it's a sure sign that you want to be really present in your body and do things that are going to allow you to feel your physicality. This is also, of course, a reminder to take care of our planet, take care of each other, doing what you can for the environment, even if it's picking up some litter or perhaps helping a cause that's really important to you. I find it really beautiful to imagine this beautiful angel is holding our Mother Earth because she is a living uh, breathing planet we are all on it we want to take care of it and as we take care of ourselves and our little corner of the world then we you know we're all making a huge difference so whatever we do big or small we're all contributing to the peace that we want to actually experience remembering that it starts with us so an interesting week it feels like very much a week to to connect, to connect to our deeper truth, especially through the, the middle of the week when we're going to be perhaps learning some um, things about ourselves and, and how we want to grow in our in our uh, skills and in our wisdom, but also then to find the balance as well in, in also being very earthy and knowing that we are human, we are supposed to be here in our human bodies, otherwise we wouldn't have this lifetime, would we? So sending you all much love. I am back. I am grounding myself after a very busy couple of weeks in beautiful Austin, Texas, where I saw lots of beautiful friends. I did uh, lots of wonderful things and a little bit of filming for my Facebook page and things, which you'll see at some point soon. Um, but I'm also going to take heed for that because it takes me a while to actually land and my body is obviously needing a bit of rest because of my cold. But I am taking um, more bookings for readings for um, you to connect with your angels if you would like to do that more personally and not just have this video but to really be able to receive some guidance that's more pertinent to you to ask questions to, to spend some time in the healing energy of your angels of these beautiful guides then of course you can contact me at annagracetaylor.com I offer 30 minute sessions and one hour sessions we can do it wherever you are in the world talking of the globe technology does allow me to be able to talk to you via Skype or via phone so wherever you are uh, send me a message if you feel guided to do so and we can set up an appointment for you. Sending you much love and I will speak to you very soon. Bye bye for now.